1 Corinthians, written by the Apostle Paul to those in Corinth, was filled, well, it was filled with all kinds of issues. There's issues about drinking, there's issues about divorce, there's issues about suing one another, there's sexual issues that even are rampant in the church that are immoral, and Paul's dealing with them over and over again. It's a church he founded and a church he loves, but a church that he has to correct. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, there's a huge issue going on between prophecy and tongues. Now we believe that tongues are a valid gift of the Spirit, and yet the church in Corinth was abusing the gift, just kind of speaking in ways that was out of order and not being interpreted. And so Paul talks about the difference between prophecy and tongues. And he says, I would rather that you prophesy because someone comes in the church, they hear a tongue, they don't know what's going on. He says, it's really more for edifying yourself, speaking in tongues. But prophecy is for those who can hear and understand. Now, let me stop right here and say, this word used for prophecy in verse 14, is not so much about predicting the future as it is about well, speaking in a way that has a special anointing or a special kind of leading by the Spirit. A preaching that's anointed by or led by the Holy Spirit in a powerful way. So Paul says, I would rather that you prophesy, preach under the anointing of the Spirit than speak in tongues when you gather together in a large assembly. Listen to what he says. I'll read a couple of verses starting with verse one. He says, pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God, for no one understands him. However, in the spirit, he speaks mysteries, but he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort to men. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, but he who prophesies edifies the church. So Paul says, when you come together, I would rather that you teach or speak, he uses the word prophesy, under the anointing of the Spirit, rather than everyone speaking in tongues. He's once again bringing some correction and some order and some wisdom to the church in Corinth.